Hey, this is Scott Strong, certified trainer from the Training Farm, and today I'm going to show you how to do a painting in Photoshop. What we have here is very obviously a scene of a mountain range, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that into something that looks like a painting. We're going to go with the mixer brush. You can find that by hitting B on your keyboard and then Shift B until it comes down here to the mixer brush tool. What I want to point out is uh, some of the settings up here. Right here we have clean the brush after each stroke and over here this is load the brush after each stroke. So every time I stroke across the canvas the brush is going to get loaded with whatever I have for a foreground color. After I stroke across the canvas the brush is going to get cleaned up. So what Photoshop is doing here is it's simulating as much as possible the effect of using a real live brush. Over to the side here we have different controls. Wet controls how much paint mixes in with the paint with the pixels that are underneath uh, on the brush. Load refers to how much paint stays on the brush as you paint. Mix refers to how much paint how much of the paint gets mixed as you paint. So for this one what I want to do is I want to actually paint on top of a layer using the pixels underneath. So I'm going to start off by creating a new layer and then I want to sample all layers. Now we can try to remember all of this up here but Photoshop has done a little bit of work for us. They've set up a little bit of some presets here so I'm going to choose wet heavy mix. So I'm going to start off by selecting a color and I'm holding down option on my keyboard it'll sample a color and as you can see it's brought right in here and then I'm going to choose a brush. So Photoshop has some of these artistic styled brushes already set up for us. And what I'm going to do is you'll see a little preview that shows up over here. So what I'm going to do is using my right bracket on the keyboard I'm just going to enlarge that brush size a bit. And now what I'll do is I'll just paint across zoom in here real close and you can start to see where Photoshop is picking up that color and moving it around. Let's choose a different brush. Use this one. You're not limited to the brushes that are in this window either. You can always go to your brush palette, choose a brush preset. There's one in here that I like a lot. It simulates pastel on paper. So what I'm doing is a combination of sampling colors and then painting. And then when you finish, it will look something like this. And you too can be your own Bob Ross. And that's how you do a painting in Photoshop.